Welcome to Hydropool's Aquatic Prenatal Fitness Program. I am so honored to share this compilation of workouts that will take you throughout your pregnancy. Each workout is specific to a trimester. However, if you are just joining us in your second or third trimester, we suggest going back to the beginning and completing as many of the movements as possible to get your body accustomed to the water. Aquatic fitness is a great way to exercise and keep moving while your body is experiencing many changes. The buoyancy of the water supports the relief of sore muscles and joints, and the pressure of the water can help relieve swelling in your extremities. Please note, you should always consult your doctor or medical professional before starting any exercise program. Also, throughout these workouts, we want to encourage you to listen to your body and adjust your movements to suit your individual preference. It's important that at no point throughout these workouts should your heart rate increase to over 140 beats per minute. Our goal is to provide you with an opportunity to move your body in a safe way while maintaining your balance, strength, and flexibility. Here we are in your second trimester. These will likely be the most challenging of our three prenatal workouts. Often, symptoms of nausea and exhaustion start to dissipate around weeks 13 and 14. We have more energy and we begin to feel like ourselves again. If you are still experiencing challenges though, it's important to know that you are not alone. Take your time and go at your own pace. As our bodies start to change, we may begin to feel restricted in some of our movements. So our goal here is to keep the body moving while maintaining new opportunities for balance and mobility. We want you to stay active. As your body begins to change, there's more opportunity for pain and discomfort. So if you're up for it, let's get moving. By the time I got to my second trimester, I was finally feeling like myself again. So for this workout, I'm gonna encourage you to push yourself a little bit harder and maybe go outside of your comfort zone. That said, listen to your body. If you're still feeling a little bit unwell, go slow and take it at your own pace. We're gonna get right into our warm up today. So we're gonna start with the feet a little bit wider than shoulder distance. We're gonna turn the toes out so we've got a little bit of opening in the hips. Hands are still gonna be sculling underneath the water. We're gonna bend through the knees, still trying to keep them over top of the ankles, bringing the shoulders right down under the water. So we're gonna inhale as we come up and exhale to come down. Again, as we warm up, the goal here is just to introduce movement and start to connect with the breath. Bend your knees as much as it's comfortable to do so. Pressing both the heels and the big toes into the water here. After about 10 to 15 reps, we're gonna start to lift up through the knees. So we'll bring the feet again parallel to the edges of the swim spa. We're gonna start to incorporate the arms. So inhale to reach the arms up nice and tall. Okay, from here, we're gonna bring left elbow to left knee and right elbow to right knee. So notice how we keep the knees nice and wide. Again, allowing lots of opening in the hips. Exhale as you crunch a little bit in through the obliques. And notice how the water allows the knee to rise. Perfect. Inhale, reach up, exhale, crunch. Good, a few more. Great job. Okay, let's bring the feet again to about shoulder width and bring the shoulders under the water. We're gonna hold the hands at the chest and what that's gonna do is really force us to start to engage the core as the arms are not sculling to keep us in one spot. Again, if sculling feels better to you, go for it. So, holding the hands at the chest, we're just gonna step out one leg at a time. So legs are gonna go from bent and underneath the shoulders to extending and reaching out to one side of the swim spa at a time. Here we're starting to fire up through our adductors. Good, keeping the feet flexed. Core is engaged to keep the shoulders right over the hips. Awesome. Stay here for another five. Good, last two, 
and one, beautiful. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of skiing under the water. I'd like to see you keep your shoulders under the surface. Extend the right foot forward and the left foot back. Arms are gonna pump side to side to keep us balanced. So we're gonna keep bring the left foot forward, send the right foot back, right foot forward, left foot back. Okay, so arms are pumping side to side. Trying to keep the shoulders right over the hips. Good. Beautiful. And if it feels better to you to do a reverse lunge like we did in our first trimester workout, go for it. Good. Stay here. Find your breath. Keep going. Last four. And one, great job. Last one in our warm up. Keep the shoulders under the water. Fast feet, quick arms. So arms are gonna pump at the side nice and quick. Feet are gonna rebound off the swim spa floor very quickly. Here we go. Really starting to get the heart rate up now. Again, the water's gonna wanna bring your shoulders up. Try to keep them down, that core is tight. Good. Arms are pumping. Feet are bouncing off the swim spot floor. Notice how much nicer this movement is in water than on land. Joints are supported. Resistance of the water helps build strength. Good, keep it pushing. Last three, two, and one. Great job. All right, we're gonna move into a little bit more of our, what we've called our movement with breath. And starting to challenge our mobility and our balance a little bit now. So again, we're gonna shift the body weight into the right leg. <clears throat> we're gonna reach the arms out to the side. So the left leg is off of the swim spa floor and we're gonna kick it back behind us as we reach forward and then come on up to standing. So you're gonna reach forward, get nice and long and then come back to standing. So ultimately the goal is to bring the chest forward, kick that left leg back, find your way back to shoulders over hips. So this is firing up through the glutes and engaging through the core while challenging your balance. If you wanna increase the intensity, you can bring your palms together and push the water away from you and then pull it back towards you. So push and pull push and pull. Again, totally up to you. Reach forward, belly in, keep your hips square, and then come on up to standing. Let's do two more. Great, switch sides. So shifting your body weight into that left leg now. Find your balance, find your center. Inhale, reach forward, kick the right leg back. Exhale, come on up to standing. So as a reminder, with all single leg movements, the left side and the right side will feel different. That's normal. Inhale to get long, reach forward. Exhale, come on up to standing. You can start to add in the push and the pull, as long as you keep your hips square to the front of the swim spa. Beautiful, do three. Last one. Good, now that we've got our balance dialed in, let's come on into a warrior pose. So we're gonna keep that left foot forward, toes pointing forward, and the right foot parallel to the back edge of the swim spa. You wanna bend into that left knee so that your shoulders come under the water. Remember to keep the core engaged as we start to lift that right foot off of the floor and come on up to standing to reach up. So we're gonna call this pencil here. So inhale as you reach up, then exhale, slide that foot back into your warrior. So a lot of core strength here to pull yourself up to standing as you come from warrior into pencil. So balancing on that left foot, keeping the core nice and tight. Good, inhale, get long. Exhale, come on back up to standing. Two more, 
Feel that nice stretch in the shoulders and the abdomen as you stretch and reach up. Last one. Beautiful. Okay, I wanna stay on this side. So keeping the left leg as our standing leg. Pick up your right foot and grab onto it from the inside. So your right hand is grabbing onto the inside of that right foot. Imagine you're gonna keep your knees together and your shoulders right up over the hips. Lift the left arm up. Okay, perhaps this is where you will stay and that is great. You're getting a beautiful stretch in your quad and you're also extending out through that left arm stretching here on the left side. If it's comfortable for you, you're gonna start to bring the chest forward and you're gonna feel that right foot come out of the swim spot. Good, your balance is challenged here and you're getting a beautiful hip opening stretch on the right side. If you fall out, that's totally fine. Just come on back in. So find a spot that's not moving for you to focus on. Good. See if we can hold it here for a few more breaths. Amazing. All right, let's switch sides. So we're gonna start with that warrior pose with the right foot forward and the left foot back. So we're gonna bend into that right knee, reaching arms forward and back with equal pressure. Remember, that left foot's parallel to the edge of the swim spot floor. Take a big breath in, and as you exhale, float yourself all the way up into pencil. Reach up, good. Inhale, bend the knee, get long. Exhale, reach up, nice strong core. Good. Inhale, get long, nice step back. Opening up the hip on the left side. Exhale, extend and stretch out those abdominals. Good, inhale, long. Soften the jaw, relax the shoulders, good. Two more. Find your rhythm, find your breath. Great, let's come on into our dancers. So body weight will come into the right leg. We're gonna grab the inside of that left foot. Try to keep the knees together to start. Reach the right arm up towards the sky. Immediately you're gonna feel that stretch in your quads on the left side. When you're ready, start to bring the chest forward. You will feel the left knee coming towards the surface. Acknowledging that maybe this side is a little bit more sturdy than the other. Good, imagine you're pressing your foot into your hand, keeping that core nice and tight, reach forward and kick back. One more breath here. Amazing. Now you're all warmed up and ready to get the heart rate up. So we're gonna start with a little speed skater. So we're gonna take the legs wide and we're just gonna bounce from side to side, bringing the heels up towards the glutes. So option, if we're still feeling a little bit unwell, we can just rock side to side. If you're feeling up for it, we can use the length of the swim spa and get a little bit more space here as we use our arms to rock us side to side. Now, if you're ready to take this up a notch, let's add in a hop. So we're gonna hop when we get to the right side. Bounce it over to the left and hop. Over to the right, hop. Go at whatever pace feels good for you. This is definitely challenging. And if it's new, take your time. Again, the goal here is to start to increase the heart rate. It will start to feel a little bit uncomfortable, but listen to your body. Couple more. Good, now keeping with this theme of hopping and bouncing from side to side, we're gonna shift the body weight so that we're just hanging out on the right side now. Left leg is gonna extend out in front of you. This is called the pendulum. Hands at the hips is tough. Hands sculling at your sides, much easier. So let's start there. We're gonna kick the leg out and across. As that left leg crosses your right, 
We're gonna add in a hop. So it'll be a left leg kick out and hop. Out and hop. Good. When you land on the swim spot floor, I wanna see a nice soft knee. Good. Allowing the water to catch you. So we've got the pendulum cross with a hop. Leg comes across with a hop. Good, working the glutes, the quads, the hamstrings, the calves, everything's getting some action now. Do two more. Last one. Good, I really felt that in the right leg. Let's go on the left side. So shift your body weight into the left, extend that right foot out in front of you. Here we go with the pendulum. So that leg's gonna come wide, cross, and hop. Wide, cross, and hop. So find your rhythm, find your breath. Reach wide, across, and hop. Again, one of our goals here is to increase the range of motion and mobility in the hips. That's what we're doing. Bouncing off the left leg is building strength on the left side. And the hop gets our cardiovascular system pumping. Good, stay with me for a couple more. Kick and hop, last one. Great job, shake it out. Okay, sticking with our balance movements, we're gonna pause the heart rate intensity a little bit, allow it to come down. Bring the left knee up, again, keeping that right leg nice and strong as our standing leg. Flex through the left foot. We're gonna work the quads and the hamstrings together, but independently here. So as we kick the leg out in front of us, we fire up through the quads. And as we pull it back, we fire up through the hamstrings. So here I'm gonna challenge you to put your hands on your hips, extend out through the leg, and pull back. If you have to skull, that's totally fine. All takes a little bit of practice. Good. Inhale to get long, exhale to pull that heel back towards you. Now, if you're finding that this is too much for your balance, grab the noodle, hold on to it, or even grab onto the side of the swim spot. Okay, so here we are building strength in the quads and the hamstring, mine's starting to feel it. Let's do three more. Good, last one. Amazing. Okay, we're gonna stay on that left side. So body weight comes into your right foot once again. That knee lifts up. Now we're gonna go wide, so an egg beater kick. The ankle is gonna come out towards the left and you're gonna kick the leg wide and bring it back to standing. So knee comes up, ankle wide, push the foot out and bring it back to standing. So up, side, all the way out and around. Okay, now you'll feel it in your piriformis, then one of the smaller muscles in our glutes. Good. And if we do about 10 reps, you will start to feel that level of exhaustion. Good. Again, it's all about keeping the legs moving, balancing, practicing our mobility. Good, couple more. And relax, relax, shake it out, shake it out. Okay, we're gonna keep working that left side before we switch over to the right. So we're gonna bring the shoulders down under the water. Opportunity to skull here for balance. Again, staying only on that right foot. What I'd love to see is you keep the shoulders right over the hips as you kick that left foot forward and then straight back. So all in one movement, forward and then back. Really notice how much you have to engage your abdominals. Even if they've moved to the side a little bit, you're st they're still there. Go ahead, bring the knee up towards the chest and then kick that heel straight back. Good. We're using the resistance of the water here to build strength. And now the heart rate's starting to increase a little bit more. A few more breaths. Good, rocking front to back. Still trying to maintain that balance and the stability in the core. Last two. And one, we have exhausted that left side. 
Okay, we're gonna go through all three of those movements now on the right side. So come on up to standing. Again, we're gonna let the heart rate come down a little bit. Find your balance and your center in that left leg. Take your hands to your hips when you're ready. Okay, keeping that right foot flexed, just extend the foot forward and then back. Forward and back. Come back to your breath. Core is tight. Extend and pull. Imagine you're spreading those left toes nice and wide to keep your balance here. Beautiful, a few more. You're starting to feel that fatigue in the hamstring and the quad. Good, okay, let's get into the egg beater now. Find your center, find your balance. Lift that knee up, extend the ankle wide, kick around to come back to center. Knee up, ankle wide, kick out to the side, pull it back to center. Okay, if you're feeling like it's too much, hands can skull at your sides. Good, and just go at whatever pace feels good for you today. Beautiful opportunity to open up through those hips. Standing leg nice and strong. Shoulders up high. We can do three more together. Here we go. Good, quick pull back together. Last one. Amazing. All right. Our forward and backwards kick. Feet are gonna be about shoulder width. Bring those shoulders under the water. Hands are sculling. Shifting your body weight into the left side. Ready? Kick that foot out in front of you and back. Knee comes up to the chest, kick forwards and back. Good, whatever pace feels good. If you're ready to get the heart rate up, let's go. If you prefer to move at a slower pace, you do you. It's all good. We're moving, we're breathing. Stay with me here, another three, two, and one. Great job. All right, we're gonna grab onto our noodle. We're gonna do a little bit of core work. So we're gonna take the noodle underneath the shoulder blades and use it to hold us up. So the noodle is going to rest underneath your arms and you're gonna lean back, allowing your body weight to come into the noodle. We're gonna start by bringing the feet together and do a movement called floating abs. So come up onto your tippy toes and bring the knees up to the surface of the water. Push the tippy toes back down to the bottom of the swim spa and then lift them up. So toes come down, feel them touch, lift them back up. Try to find your gaze again in one spot, slowly lifting the knees to exhale and inhale as you press the feet down back towards the floor. Good. So again, your abdominals may have moved a little bit in your second trimester. Here we're engaging the core that includes the obliques, the transverse abdominals, and the lower back as well. If at any point this feels like it's too much, you can keep one foot on the swim spa floor and just lift one at a time. Good, feet can be flexed or pointed, whatever feels good. Do one or the other. Okay, we'll do four more together. Knees up and down. Good, now let's bring the knees up and the ankles together. Okay, so we're floating all of our body weight on the noodle. We're gonna keep the ankles together and open up through the knees. 
So we're gonna call this one the butterfly, really introducing that hip mobility. Good, and it's okay if you come off balance. This is definitely a challenging movement. But if you're ready to increase the intensity, I'm gonna provide you with an opportunity to open up here. We're keeping the ankles together, open up, and then bring the ankles up towards the glutes. So open up and bring the ankles towards the glutes. Really having to engage the core here. Let's do another five. Inhale, open up, exhale, pull together. Last three. And one. Great job. So that's it for our strength exercises in the second trimester workout. We're gonna come into our cool down now. So I wanna give you the opportunity to really stretch out through the core, get into the hips. So let's start by standing up nice and tall. We're gonna take the right foot and we're actually gonna cross it in front of the left. Okay, so we've got the right foot crossed in front of the left. Inhale, reach the arms up and grab onto the right wrist with the left hand. Now, as we fold to the side, you're feeling that full side body stretch, almost as if you can feel it from your ankles all the way to your wrist. So it's okay to keep that front leg kind of bent here, pressing your hips out to the right. Good, and really pulling onto your left, or right wrist, pardon me, with your left hand. Good, full body stretch there. Let's switch sides. So take your left foot and cross it in front of your right. Grab onto your left wrist, press your wrist up towards the sky. Now press your hips to the left as you fold to the right. And again, imagine you can feel that stretch from your wrist all the way down to your ankle. Good, last inhale, come on up. Let's clasp the hands together now, turn the palms to face the sky. Now drop your chin to your chest, bring your palms in front of you. Imagine you're trying to push your hands into a wall. So you feel that nice opening in your shoulder blades. The core is engaged. Let's clasp your hands behind you now. Take your gaze to the sky and try to squeeze the shoulder blades as you open up through the chest. One more on each side. So clasp your hands in front of you. Press your knuckles away from you. Chin to chest. Good, now opening up through the chest, clasp your hands behind you, take your gaze to the sky. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. Beautiful. All right, let's take the hands to the hips. So again, often we start to feel some discomfort in the lower back and the hips. So I wanna give you the opportunity to give yourself a little bit of a back bend here. Caution, only go as far as you feel comfortable. So we'll take the hips and we're gonna to start to press them forward. You're gonna feel the glutes engage, press your hips forward, open the chest to the sky, really notice how much that weight is in your heels. Good, and then if it feels okay and you wanna relax the shoulders, go for it. Stay here for a few breaths. This should feel like a nice relief. If it doesn't, just come out of it a little bit. If your glutes are starting, starting to tighten up, that's okay. Just try to soften them, send some love to the hips. Beautiful, come on back up, shake it out. All right, last one I'd like to get into the hamstrings because often the hamstrings get pretty tight um, and they attach to your lower back. So you start to feel that in your lower back. So we're gonna take your right heel to the floor and point your toes up to the sky. Square your shoulders to the right toes and start to bring the chest towards the floor until you feel that nice stretch up the back of your legs or just your right leg there in this case. Okay, so imagine you're trying to pull your toes back towards you and you're bringing your chest closer to the swim spa floor. Hold it here for a few breaths. That leg is straight. Beautiful, okay, let's switch sides. So left heel to the floor, 
right left toes to the sky. Turn your shoulders towards the left toes and then fold. Again, keep that left foot straight or the left knee straight. Hinging at the hips, press the hips back. Feel that nice deep stretch in your hamstring. And come on up, shake out the legs. Great workout. Thank you so much for joining me and participating in HydroPool's Aquatic Prenatal Program. It has been our pleasure to support you throughout this journey, and we look forward to being a part of your growing family. If you haven't already done so, check out the other great workouts in our exercise library, including our cross-training and box fit programs.